Hey everyone, thanks for joining. Today we're going to go through how to export from HubSpot. And it's super simple, but I just want to quickly show you so that it can save you some time or headache in case you are new to HubSpot and you haven't done this before. So basically here we are in HubSpot, I've logged in, I'm in the contacts section. And essentially what I can do is I want to see on this screen all the contacts that I wish to export. So let's say I only want to export the contacts that are, let's have a look, country is Australia. Then I might add a filter for that and I'll filter just the country is Australia, like so, apply the filter. And I also want to get the columns that I'm interested in. So let's see if these columns are correct. I can edit columns here and I can remove any columns that I'm not interested in exporting. Let's get rid of these. And I can also add in columns that I am interested. So let's say I wanted to add back city. I can add that in like so and apply. And you can also reorder the columns as well in case you want to save some time with the export. Of course, if you open this in a spreadsheet, you can also easily move the columns around in a spreadsheet after you export. So now I've got everything as I wish. And then I can click here, the export button, and then it'll show a little pop-up and you can choose the file format that you wish to export. You should start by double checking that it looks like the number of rows, the number of records you're looking to get. So I've got 62 here. I can select the file format and I can choose the comma separated value format, which is just like a very basic, no, uh, no extra functionality kind of a spreadsheet, or I can choose one of the Excel options as well. I generally like CSV, but you can choose whichever. You can always open CSV in different programs. And then you can choose here it, whether you want to download just what you see in the view that we've just filtered, or if you want to download all the properties that you have in HubSpot. Normally I just leave it selected with this one, but if I did want to get every contact that exists in my account, then I would select this one. You can include all the email addresses as well, because maybe you have some contacts that are, have a couple of email addresses, but usually I leave this unticked unless I need to do some kind of review. So it's totally fine to leave that unticked and you can also choose the language for the column headers as well. So usually I leave that as English. So if you're, if you're doing a standard export, you can usually just leave everything as is and you can just select the file format of your, of your preference here as well. We click export and then the export will be there'll be a notification email sent to you where you can click download the export. But if you stay on this screen and if it's a small export, as you can see here, you'll get a little pop-up and you can just download it straight away like this. And in in Chrome and other browsers, it'll, it'll usually pop up like that. And then I have the export like so. And then you can also, if you wanted to, look at the export audit and we can see the list of who's done which exports on which dates. This is all under the settings, under the settings button here. And if you scroll down, it's just here under import and export. And you can also click here to download if you wanted to as well. Or you can also download older exports. But as you can see here, they only last for 30 days when they're available. On this screen as well, while we're here, you can also set the large export notification threshold as well. So if you had an account, um, I think this is only available for admins of this account. So you might have, this may or may not be, be visible for you, but if you do see it here, what this means is that I could set a notification so that if anyone doesn't export from the account of say a thousand records, there would be a notification sent so that you can sort of keep track of who's exporting large numbers of contacts. And that's basically it. And then you've got the export. So if I go to drive, I can drag that export in like this, and then that'll import and you can see that it actually imports as a CSV file, which looks like this, but I can just right click and then open that up in Google Sheets like that. And that's it. So have a look at that, try it out. If you have any questions or any issues with that, please let me know. And if I've missed anything or skipped anything that you're more interested to learn about, please feel free to share in the comments. So let me know if you like this video, please subscribe to get more videos about HubSpot, about Zapier and other sorts of uh, marketing and sales automation that you can do for your business. And, uh, and also if, if this has been helpful for you, please like and please share a comment. I'd love to hear any, uh, any thoughts and feedback you've got. Thanks so much. Have a great day. See you in the next video.